Hey, hello, bonjour, hi, I hope you are all doing good. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time. And this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about basically redness, rosacea, and any form of skin condition that gives you a redness. And before I start, I first want to talk about what may cause the redness that you currently have on your face. Then I'm going to talk about a very simple routine. And then I'm going to talk about what actives you could add to your routine to decrease the inflammation and all that jazz on your skin. So definitely stay tuned until the end of this video. And of course, if you are new, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you want to know a lot about skincare and no crazy claim. Everything is coming from science. When I mean science, I mean research papers. Not something that I've read on a blog or something like that. No, I go always with uh, their suit. My channel is not about nonsense, marketing claims and um, all that jazz. So first of all, let's talk about your redness. In most cases, what happens is that you are the one basically triggering this uh, redness and this inflammation on your skin. And why? Because when you currently go online and if you are into skincare, either if you go to Instagram, to YouTube, to blogs and etc., you will see that a lot of people praise some actives. So if we take the example of vitamin C, the natural form of vitamin C is L-ascorbic acid. It has to be formulated at an acidic pH. And in the market, we have several products with vitamin C and you can choose 20% instead of 50%. Same thing with the retinoid. You say, okay, I need a retinol or even a retinol. And in that case, I am not going to start with the lower dose, but I'm going to go straight away with the highest dose, like 1% uh, of retinol. For example, same thing. You need something to exfoliate your skin. Of course, acids are the best way to choose. So why choose 5% of glycolic acid when you can get a blend with 30%? of different AHS such as the one from the ordinary and at the end you just tack on the actives and guess what's going to happen you are going to irritate like crazy your skin and one of the signs of uh, irritated skin is simply redness another thing that is also unfortunately commonly found and if you don't uh, know much about uh, skincare ingredients it is always difficult to see is that there are so so many shady brands that are basically packed with botanical extract that are packed with essential oils and alcohol and so on. And all those ones, when combined with those good actives, are just going to inflame even more your skin. Not to mention that you may have an allergic reaction towards one of the ingredients uh, already found in a face cream, which is why in my channel, I always tend to recommend you product without any perfume, without a ton of botanical extract, without fragrance components, such as essential oils, for example, because I know that some skin can react to it. And overall, you can achieve an amazing skin without using those damn irritating uh, ingredients. There are also some brands that are so, so shady. I'm thinking, for example, about um, drunk elephants, where they create fears around certain ingredients, such as silicone that they have done or uh, organic filters, for example, that they have decided to completely ban from, from the brand for no scientific reasons whatsoever but at the same time when you look at the formula they are packed with different extract from botanical from fruits and etc and when you add up all those ingredients certain skin type may be reactive to them a good point still with drunk elephant is that they do formulate all their products without perfume also without um, alcohol in the form of uh, ethanol which is obviously much better but again if you go to sephora you will see that a ton and a ton of brands use perfume they use essential oil sometimes they even use um, a mix of them sometimes they are even brands that use um, quite patent active like in the form of retinol retinol and also strong acids high percentage of vitamin c and what they had they also had essential oils in the blend i mean this is a big no no especially with those type of active that are going to exfoliate the skin i'm thinking about aha the only thing that they are going to do is to help those irritating ingredients to go further down into your skin and guess what create inflammation i am telling you this because you need to make the difference between a skin condition that basically is due to your skincare routine because your product either contains 
far too much active and your skin cannot just handle them as simple as that or because you are allergic or sensitive to one of those fragrant components to one of those botanical extract and um etc or even worse it is a mix of the two your actives are far too potent for your skin type and in addition you are reacting to one of those botanical uh, reactions which leads me to the next point which is basically to have a simple routine to reset your skin and the whole idea of this routine is to stop all your actives all your retinol all your vitamin c all your aha bha and all that jazz uh, of course your vitamin C especially if it is uh, the acidic form and for at least a week to two weeks have a very simple routine that is not going to irritate your skin and then after one week or even better two weeks you will see how your skin is if you start to have any redness any inflammation and etc it just means that something from your previous routine has irritated you so what I'm going to do now is just to basically uh, propose you a simple routine and this routine and with basically almost all the product that I'm going to show you today and I have quite a lot I have to say they will be all free of hyaluronic acid one of the reasons as you can check my video about hyaluronic acid is because there are some scientific data that shows that very low molecular weight hyaluronic acid can inflame the skin I do believe that this is even more relevant if your skin if your skin barrier is already um, damaged so i think it is safer especially to do like a skin reset like to cleanse in a way your skincare uh, regimen to have a routine that is basically hyaluronic acid free to not take the chance that you may react to those hyaluronic uh, acid so first let's start as usual in the in the evening with double cleansing of course this is going to change depending on your skin uh, type i present you the gentlest uh, way that I know of and this is especially for those of you who have super super inflamed skin with lots of dry patches like your skin is all over the place you definitely want to have something super super gentle so this product is this one from Avin this is the Le Nettoyant or the cleansing lotion so this is basically a cleansing milk this one is a sterile cosmetic so it means that there is absolutely no preservative oh la la I love this and you are going to use this as your first cleanser before I forgot it would be also optimal if you do not wear makeup or at least try to wear makeup that is uh, fragrance free so be very mindful about that especially no botanical extract no essential oils and all that jazz also in your makeup it is uh, important so this one is super super duper uh, gentle this is perfect also for your children if you want something to cleanse their skin they don't really need like a uh, strong detergent this one will work like a charm on them especially if they have um, dry skin but it is not going to remove any uh, hardcore waterproof uh, makeup in that case, you will have to use a cleansing oil without any perfumes, without any perfume such as the one from Adelabo, for example. As usual, all the products are going to be in the description box. Also, if you are someone with super dry skin, super inflaming skin, like really badly damaged, uh, the water might, might also burn your skin. So in the morning, or at least in the moment where you are going to take your shower and put water on your face, what you can do is to apply a thick layer of this product to really coat your face and protect it from, um, from basically water. And once you are, you have finished to take your shower, you can gently remove it. So the next product, especially in the evening, I always recommend you to double cleanse whatever your skin type is and your skin condition is to use, of course, a water-based cleanser. One of the most, uh, of the gentlest that I know of is this one from Avin. This is the Lotion Nettoyant Peau Intolérante or the Extremely Gentle Cleanser Lotion. <laughs> Am I not a good PR for Avin? <laughs> so, the, so this one, many reasons why I love them because it is super, super simple and good. At the same time, it feels pretty luxurious. I really love the feel of this one, but it also cleans because some of super mild cleansers that are around such as the um, hydrating cleanser, from CeraVe, I don't really like this one because basically mm, it doesn't cleanse. So the next step, and I mean, it's not going to be a surprise for you. What I've been telling you for a very long time on this channel is that in order to have this glass skin, this super mm, beautiful skin, and by the way, you can check also my video on my quarantine Zen skincare routine. 
go and check it out. But the whole idea to have this effect on your skin, what you need is a ton of humectant to like really attract the water, or I should say to lo to attract the water that is already in the product in your skin, and then you need a good moisturizer to lock in the water. Because I don't want to have any ironic acid in this routine, I have chosen this uh, lotion, essence, toner, whatever the name, it is not important. This one is from the Japanese brand Curel. This is the Moisture Lotion 3 Enrich. Again, if you're following me on this channel, it's not going to be a surprise. I really, really like and enjoy this product and it uses simply my beloved glycerin. It is an excellent option. Very gentle, very, very simple. No perfume, no, bot no botanical extract, no drying alcohol, um, and etc. So this one is suitable for many, many skin types, even for those of you who have super sensitive skin. So the next step is, of course, moisturizer. And in that case, it is so, so damn important. So I'm first going to show you probably my favorite moisturizer for those type of skin condition. One of the key elements when your skin is irritating is an impairment of your skin barrier. So it means that the corneal side, so basically the dead skin cells and in between the lipids are deorganized and you have a sort of hole in, in your skin, hence all the inflammation and etc. So what you want is basically a moisturizer that you will first help just your skin to lock in this water because if your skin is dry, it's just going to inflame your skin even more. But at the same time, you want to have restoring ingredients. So probably one of the best uh, moisturizing cream in the market for this is again this one from the Japanese brand Curel, the Intensive Moisture Cream. And definitely Curel should pay me at a level also because I'm always talking about those products. Again, it is fragrance free. It doesn't have any weird uh, botanical extract. This one also used as a main emollient of pseudoceramides. And a ceramide is one of the key lipids that you have in your skin brand. This is an excellent, excellent formula. At the same time, you do have also a pretty um, good feeling because the texture of this cream is just on fleek. It feels like a really light lotion, but it is deeply moisturizing. I love this one. I definitely um, have to stock on this one. This is a beautiful moisturizer. So the next one is for those of you who are more on a budget, if you can find it. It is a new one from Bioderma. This is the Sika Restore. Again, this is not exactly the first time that I talk about. If you want to know a little bit more about this specific formula, you can go and check my Instagram post about this one. Super simple list of ingredients. It is mainly based on shea butter. So, so efficient. Also for the price, you get 100 ml and mm, j'adore ça because you have a lot and this is uh, great. Also, the texture is very well known. A good tip with um, this one is that you will see there is a little hole here, especially at the end of the tube. You need to hold it like this to press and distribute the product. You will see that this one is quite damaged because my beautiful dog, Sir Guabao, bite into the cream I need to buy a new one. So the last one that I want to show you is I would say an hybrid between a good moisturizer and at the same time, it does have an active. This is this one from Aderma. In French, this is the Crème de Soin. Uh, Nutriti, so this is the skincare cream nourishing. So what I love about this one is that first of all, the formula is super duper simple. You don't have any craziness in terms of ingredient. It is based on mineral oil. So a super inert occlusive on the skin, which I really love. It also has oat extract. And I mean, oat has been around for such, such a long time. And it is very soothing on your skin. Again, you get 150 ml with this one. So you have a ton. It is pretty affordable, at least in Europe, I think it is. In the United States, I cannot uh, tell you, but you can try this one. And you can also use it all over your body. Of course, all the moisturizers that I've showed you, also use them around your eyes. If after the two weeks of skin reset, you basically still have this uh, inflamed skin, it will be probably better with this uh, routine that I've just show you. It just mean that what you have is indeed a skin disease. And in that case, you need to consult with a dermatologist. And this is something very, very important. Don't start to auto-diagnose yourself because there are many, I would say, skin diseases to our eyes looks very similar, but they can be very different. For, for example, rosacea can also look like seborrheic dermatitis in certain cases, but this is completely different. Also, an eczema, some types of eczema are also very reminiscent from rosacea. And I remember I used to have some uh, eczema on my face when I was a teenager that really looks like 
uh, rosacea, but it was not because this is not the same type of skin disease. I also remember uh, once just uh, on the top part of my lids, around here and under my nose basically, I had those very uh, red patches, really flaky. And when I saw it the first time, I said, oh, I again have eczema because I've been suffering from eczema um, all my life, almost. And now that I'm uh, an adult, so for quite a long time now, <laughs> basically, uh, it is definitely much better. By the way, tell me if you want me to, to make like a video dedicated about uh, eczema, but I had to go and see the dermatologist and I thought that I, I had like eczema and guess what I did not. It was a dermatitis that was due to the products used to treat uh, eczema, so it was a corticoid. So this is why it is so, so important to go and consult a dermatologist. Dermatologists are here for this. They are trained to know ex exactly what you have in terms of skin uh, disease. So like I said, it's after two weeks with this routine. Your skin is still inflamed and not happy. You have uh, most likely a skin disease and you need to consult with a dermatologist. So now this being said, we are going to talk about some active that you may consider to add to your routine, but only do it after those two weeks. So they are basically two active that I can um, tell you about. So the first one is azelaic acid, probably with, without any surprise for you, or maybe it is a surprise, but azelaic acid is an excellent, excellent active because at the same time, it is a beautiful exfoliant, but it also can the inflammation of the skin. And also at 20%, this is the medical treatment for what they share. And overall, this is also such an excellent active because you have the exfoliant uh, potency of azelaic acid and that sometimes you have this soothing effect, this anti-inflammatory effect on the skin, so beautiful. So the one that I want to recommend you that I don't have right now at home because I do think that this is probably the most elegant formula that you can find in over-the-counter skincare is the 10% azelaic acid booster from Polacho. This one is simply gorgeous. If you really want an affordable alternative that I'm going to tell you right away, it is not pleasant to use it, this one from the ordinary, the 10% as a uh, acid suspension. This one is suspended in silicone, so it really feels like an heavy silicone primer. If you choose to use adelic acid at 10%, what I recommend you is to double cleanse your skin in the PM. Then you had a generous amount of this lotion. You can even layer it if your skin is super dehydrated. And then you are going to use a very thin layer of azelaic acid and you can start twice a week. So for example, every Wednesday and every Sunday, don't do every Wednesday and every Thursday and slowly you are going to build your way up and you will see how your skin uh, react to it. Another alternative, and this one is only for those of you who have thicker skin, where you have a lot of dry patches, is to use this one from the French brands to create the Melas, the Melas Cream Le Soin d'Attaque or the um, intense care, the depigmenting uh, intense care. So this one is sold as a treatment for hyperpigmentation. Actually, you can use it all over your face because this is mostly a peeling that contains azelaic acid and also glycolic acid. So be careful because it has glycolic acid, it's also going to slightly uh, sting your skin in the beginning. This is completely normal. If your skin barrier is super impaired, don't start to use it right away. Choose, first of all, a 10% azelaic acid. The best one is from uh, Paula Choice. And once your skin feels much better, but if your skin is still very thick, try this one from Ducre. This is an excellent one. Again, after your adjusting uh, lotion, you use it. So the last one that I want to tell you is for those of you who have super sensitive skin. Like basically your skin is all over the place, extremely irritating, extremely uh, red and in that case consider to use a derivative of azelaic acid. So this is one that is not often known. This is the azeloyl deglycinate, so a derivative basically like I said of azelaic acid at 20%. The only one that I know of and this formula is so glorious, it's from Dick and Gorgeous, the 20% azelaic derivative serum. So what is really nice about this one is first of all, it is formulated at a physiologic pH. So basically with a pH around 5.5. So the same pH that you have on the very top surface of your skin. So it's not going to exfoliate much your skin. And you also have uh, the same properties as azelaic acid. In terms of science, they are a bit less of scientific um, evidence, but what is really nice is that 
is that it is super gentle. It does even the skin tone, but at the same time, it just calm down the damn inflammation. So the last active that I'm going to talk about is one that I've already featured in quite on in some of my videos, which is tranexamic acid. So if you are new and you don't know exactly what tranexamic acid, tranexamic acid is first of all a medicine, a medicine to prevent any uh, blood loss. But this is not the point, not exactly the point of today. And this is also an excellent ingredient to fight hyperpigmentation. Don't expect any major results. You need to wait for at least one to two months to start to see the hyperpigmentation fade away. Fade away. Also, because this is another counter um, active, don't expect any major results, especially if you are suffering from melasma. Another beautiful thing about tranexamic acid that is not well known in general is that it also decreases the blood vessels on your skin. So therefore, if you have someone with a lot of red skin and you can see visible blood vessels, tranexamic acid will help you with this and will basically contract those blood vessels that will also be less visible. And the product that I recommend you, and this is going to be the only product that I'm going to recommend, is this one, the Premium Cream from Adalabo, the Steroidium Premium Deep Whitening Cream. This one contains on examic acid. Unfortunately, I do not know the concentration, but I know that this cream, how is it formulated? It does work. I have tried it for a very long time on myself, on area where I have blood vessels, such as on the top of my nose, but also on the sides. And if you apply a thick layer of this cream and you concentrate it basically on those red and inflamed area where you do have also those blood vessels, you will see that after probably like 30 minutes that the blood vessels are already less visible. This is one of those magical um, ingredients. Of course, the best way would be to combine those ingredients. So a good example would be to use it if you have super sensitive uh, skin to use the derivative of azelaic acid from Jekyll and Gorgeous and then the tranexamic acid, you can do it for at least a month. And when your skin starts to be better, you just introduce the azelaic acid from Paula Choice, probably twice a week, then three times a week and etc. And every day, morning and night, you use this one. If this one is not moisturizing enough, you can use another moisturizer on top to even increase the moisturizing um, effect. But please be very careful and don't auto-diagnose yourself because you might think that you have, for example, rosacea and it might be something completely different. So comment down below, tell me if you want me to do more video about this subject, about uh, basically redness on the skin, rosacea and all that jazz. I hope you find this video really helpful for you and that is going to help your skin because I mean, my channel is all about that, is to give you this glow, this beautiful skin, this very moisturizing skin. But at the same time, I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to over promote stuff that don't necessarily work. I'm here to tell you like uh, the tea and the truth. Again, thank you so, so much for being here. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me a lot. Also, if you're new, consider to subscribe to my channel. It is free. Also, ring the little bell because like this, you will not miss any of my new content. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I have plenty of stuff on Instagram. I also answer your question live every Sunday. I thank you so, so much for being here. And I will see you next time. Au revoir.